Hmm. Emily. Ed, blimey. How was it? How'd you get on? I mean, you and... Uh, you look tired, I must say. Did Emily not mention anything? I've not seen her. She's still in bed. She must be at the shop. Are oh, you coming or going now? Come on, Ed. Tell me how the berry you got on. I'm running a bit late. But you can't just leave me in suspense. There's a CD-ROM missing from cover. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, it's no good to me like that. Free access to internet. Well, it must have fallen off somewhere. Web space. Up to five email addresses. Oh, Seth, who in their right mind's going to start emailing you? Well, nobody can now, uh, can they? Cos I won't be able to sign up. Oh, well, I'll order another one for you, then. What about this one? May as well have it, I suppose. Morning. Hello, Casanova. How are you feeling this morning? Is she and Mrs Oak? No, she must have overslept. Worn out, I dare say. What do you mean by that? Don't be bashful. Big night last night. As soon as she gets in, I'm going to stick the kettle on and hear all the gory details. Oh, yeah. Tell her I was in, would you, Mrs. Up? Ed? Ed! Hang on, lad. You sort of detective? Yeah? No, and I don't even know where she is now. Is she at home? If she is, she's not answering the door. Do you know what about women? No, not really. If things ain't gone right between you, she's probably blaming herself. No, it was my fault. I think she's really embarrassed, avoiding me. Well, there you are. She's just hiding from you. She'll turn up when she's ready. Yeah. She's probably got her head stuck under the doorway while we're speaking. Good luck, lad. This is the turn up, isn't it? Say that again. This is the turn up. No. Huh. Only pot round for a chat. I'm glad you did though, are you? Yeah. What am I going to tell Ed? I don't know. I'm sure you'll think of something. What time is it? 10.15. Really? Should have been at work hours ago. This should you. Shouldn't you? Yeah, but Rona seems very capable. Not that capable. No. Suppose she'll be getting ready for work. Yeah. Another half an hour wouldn't kill the world, would it? How do you? Yeah, I'm all right. I've come to clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come in. Oh, you brought your baby. <laughs> oh, it'll be no trouble. He'll probably sleep most of the time. Well, couldn't you have got your mother or someone to have him? It was a bit short notice. Oh, right. Now... We never actually discussed a rate, did we? I thought seven pounds an hour. Seven? Well, it's not like you can't afford it, is it? You've got some lovely stuff in here. Yeah, thank you. And I don't want any of it to go missing or get broken. And we'll try a fiver to start with. See how we get on. All right. Now, where do you want me to start? I'm in. <laughs> How are the wedding plans coming up? What? Nicholas. Oh, OK. Not that you'll let me do much. Well, you know what she's like. Head in the clouds at the best of times. I just don't want her to get to the big day and find that she's forgotten to order the wedding cake or the dress or something equally vital. Well, you're her father, Rodney. Why don't you help her? Because I've got a business to run. Besides, all that sort of wedding stuff is best left to the... Women, were you going to say? It's just that you've got a better eye for all the little details. Oh, Rodney, please tell me you were joking. Look, I just want the two of you to be friends. That's oh, all. you've got to be kidding. Nico doesn't even like me. Really? Oh, can't say I've noticed. Please. Rodney, I won't even be here for the ceremony. I just want you to make sure that she's got everything covered before you go. Which one is it? Yes, boys. <sighs> two pints, please, Benice. Hey, oh. So how did she take the news? <sighs> what, that I'm broke? But we can't go on the holiday of a lifetime, the one she's been going on about for months. Then I've got to sell it and give the money to my ex-wife. Oh, she was very understanding. You didn't tell her then? No, no, I haven't told her. No, she'll kill me. It's a shame to let them go, though. I mean, Caribbean crews, I'll have them. I have to sell them, Terry. I know. 
Bit out of my league, mate. Yeah, I can't rub a nose in it, though, can I? Not from round here. What am I gonna do? You wanna flog them on net? Paddy's off today, too. I'm the locum, Rona Goskirk. Can I be of any...? No. OK. I'll pass that on. Hello. Uh -huh. Holding the fort on your own. Mm, Zoe's away. Paddy's ill upstairs in bed. We can't expect you... I'll go and shift to Leslie get. No, Marlon. He came down. He looked really hot, breathless. Just let him sleep. I can manage. And how are you? Oh, uh, well, I was just in the neighbourhood, so I thought I'd pop round and check you're still okay for tonight. Oh, actually, I was going to call you. Oh, yeah, why? I don't think I can make it. You can't. Well, you know, that's fine, that's okay. It's, you know, it's only a casual thing, wasn't it? Not, not like it was a long standing event or anything. I've got my calls to do, and then I've got to cover Paddy's surgery for him. Whatever he's got, I hope it's serious. Marlon. I'll go and check. Marlon! Maybe we could still meet up? Yeah. As soon as I've finished, I'll pop over to show you Marlon, OK? If you like. Not if you don't. No, no, I do. Good. Right. Yeah. So... <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd better get on. So, OK, OK. Oh. See you later. <laughs> OK. And I really can have as many people as I want. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind it's not exactly Westminster, Abby. You'd book that for me, though, if I wanted it, wouldn't you? I just want you to be happy. So you can stop worrying about me? It's my job to give you the best day of your life, and then you're off my hands, and the rest is up to Carlos. He is the right man for me, Dad. Mm. You're very lucky. Sometimes the right person comes along and you... You lose them before you've had a chance to tell them. How can I thank you for everything? There is something, actually. Name it. You know how I want everything to go without a hitch? Mm, and me. Be nice to Louise. Look, she just wants to help. It's my wedding day. I don't need her interfering. Yeah, I know that she thinks that you and her got off to a bad start. She really likes you. She wants to make it up with you before she goes. Does she? Trust me. Louise? Dad, no. Uh, could you... Uh... Hi. Hi. Was well, a bit disappointed, actually. I expected to find loads of kinky stuff under her oh. bed. <laughs> she must have hid it somewhere. <laughs> so you're going to be cleaning for her regularly, then? I think so. Well, she didn't seem too pleased when I turned up with him. <laughs> How are you doing with yours? Yeah, fine. It won't be too long before our two can play together, will it? <laughs> you never know, do you? Oh, Ashley can do the christening next Wednesday. I should up, so I've written the invitations. Oh, you've got good parents. Danny? I'll let you know when I've asked him. Well, I don't want you thinking that I'm going to get in the way. I don't. And actually, another pair of hands really wouldn't go amiss now again. Well, just tell me what you want and uh, I'll see what I can do. Great. Could you nip into Hotton and go around all the photographers? You know, get quotes and perhaps bring us some brochures. Sure. Was it something important? Only I've got work to be getting on with. Don't flatter yourself, Sean. I don't want to be here any more than you do. I've got something to tell you. Go on. I've been transferred to a new patch, still in the same area, but I'm awaiting a vacancy elsewhere, preferably the other side of the country. Don't hang about on my account. I don't want to rush into anything, because I want to give the kids a chance to get used to the idea. What idea? Moving. I'll be taking them with me. Paddy, wake up. Mm. I can't believe I slept half the day away. Well, there's no point in rushing around now, then, is there? Come back to bed. You know I want to. This has been one of the best nights of my life. And mine. Well, let's not end it now, then. Let's stay here forever. You can't just think about us all the time. Things to sort out. There's Viv in the shop and... Oh, let her wait. And Ed. Poor Ed. I don't know what I'm going to say to him. No. To come back to bed and have a think. I've left it too long already. I have to go see him now. I'm going to tell him what's happened. Mm. Yeah, I know, Mum. I can't 
can't wait to see you. About eight. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dad's coming to pick me up. Fantastic. No, I am. No, honestly, I'm really looking forward to coming home. All right, then. I love you, too. Bye. There you go, Dad. Dad. Thanks, love. We could do our whole wedding list from here and make sure we get everything we want. Um, can we do this another time? Well, we haven't got forever, you know, Carlos. Oh, Bernice? Yeah? We need to see Ashley about setting a date for the wedding. Yeah. Well, any idea when he's free? No. Do you think he could do, uh, Saturday, October the 6th? All the Saturdays are booked up till after Christmas, Ashley was saying. What? Can't leave it that long. You'll never get in your dress. Thursdays are usually quiet. Who gets married on Thursday? We do. Thursday, 4th of October, my mum's birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Do you think it's free? Probably. I'll check, shall I? Thanks, Bernice. Oh, Carlos. We've got a date for our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can't it wait till after Louise is gone? Tomorrow's our last night together. I'm doing you a favour. These are important clients. You need to meet people like this. You can offload cases of wine by the truckload. I don't know how I'm going to tell her. Bring her with you. Yeah, give me someone to talk to. They're right boring, these dudes. Not much of a last evening, is it? This is business. Next week, Louise will be long gone, but you'll still need your contacts. Oh, you're dead romantic, you are. What need to finish with? Yeah. Right, well, that's me off to find somewhere gorgeous to get married. What's wrong with the village church? A bit obvious for charity. Oh, yeah, I want to find somewhere a bit more, I don't know, out of the ordinary. Oh, yeah, I was thinking. Hmm, to save time and money in there, perhaps we should have a joint do. Yeah. Then again, perhaps not, I. I was only joking. Can I make you a sandwich or something? I, I really should be going paddy. I mean, it's not fair that I'm here with you when Ed's probably out there worrying about me. What are you going to say to him? I don't know yet. I've never been in this situation before. Really? I don't. <laughs> Do you want me to come with you? Well, I hardly think that would be right. I mean, how would you like it? I wouldn't. Well, then. Emily, it, 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 uh, this isn't oh, just a one-off, is it? Do you think you might like to come back later on? Try keeping me away. Louis! Louis! Emily! You're not going to give us a goodbye kiss? I don't think I better. Emily. All right, my love? All right. I have been in this shop all morning, rushed off my feet. Not one word from Emily. Anything could have happened to her, and I've had to cover the post office and the shop all by myself. Oh, love. Been busy, has it? That's not the point. Thank goodness I've had the cruise to look forward to. It's been the one thing that's actually kept me from going out of my mind. Ah. And I'm very worried about Emily. She'll be here in a minute. Something must have come up. About whether we are doing the right thing, leaving her in charge. I mean, I'll be lying by the pool on that ocean liner. Why are we sick whether she's actually bothered to turn up and open? Actually, love, I'm out of a solution for that. Yeah? What? Look, I don't really know how to break this. Bob, what? The cruise. Something's happened. We can't go. Oh, no. You might not be able to, but there is nothing that's going to stop me from getting on that ship. It's not just the cruise, love. Look, there's something you should know. We'd better go through the back. Mum's not in. I don't know when she'll be back. I wanted to chat with you, actually. Really? Do you want coffee? In no time. She told me you were all going to move away. Um, we talked about it. Oh, I'm just surprised she didn't mention it to me first. <sighs> she probably thought you'd be as pleased as she is to be going. How could I be? Holly, I'm managing on my own because I've got no choice. 
Just because your mum and me aren't together doesn't mean I want to be apart from you and Mark. The, fa the fact that I can see you, that I can nip round, that's all I've got. Dad, too much has happened here and it isn't just you and Mum splitting up. What else? The crowd I'm in with. What, Andy? Donna, that lot? I just don't think they're good for me. Well, hardly a bunch of Hell's Angels, are they? Dad, I'm just ready for a fresh start, meet new people. Oh, look, don't say anything to your mum, but... If you all went, I don't know if I'd be able to cope. <sighs> Dad! Look, don't rush into things, please, Ollie. You go with mum, then sooner or later she's gonna want you to stop seeing me. If you stay here, then I can look after you. Promise me you'll think about it. What with all the goings on at Naughty Nylons and being out of work for a while, I fell behind with the payments. The wife's got on to Ex her... Ex-wife. And which one, anyway? The last. Well, she's got on to a solicitor. I told them it would only be a month or two till the salary started coming in again, but they just weren't listening. And how much do you owe? <sighs> About a thousand, near enough. So we can't go? That's what you're telling me, isn't it? Oh, come on, Viv. There's more at stake here than just some holiday cruise, you know. Not for me, there isn't. I can't have my kids going without. Well, you certainly will be, so get used to it. I'm sorry. If there's anything I could do... The holiday was free. I'll go on my own. Take a friend. Yeah, well, he could, love. But I need to sell the cruise. I've got to hand over the money. Oh. Well, it's very good to know that you treat your ex-wife so generously. Seeing as I'm soon going to be one of them. Thursday, October the 4th, 2001. <laughs> it's got a sort of ring to it, don't you think? And we're going to need a massive marquee. There's so many people I want to hey, invite. Hey, we don't need a marquee. You've got the perfect place right here. In Shea Marla. This is no expense spared, Nicola. We could turn this into a Venetian palazzo, if that's what you're after. Really? There you go. Marlon, how are you fixed for October the 4th? You asking me out? Uh, can you cater for Nicola's wedding? Oh, yes. Big do, is it? Ah, oh, huge. But, Marlon, I want it dead classy. You're talking to the right man. Mm. Prawn cocktail, canapes, and a proper cotton serviette. Are you sure you're up to it? Oh, hello, love. Hi. Capital Studios and Hotton got your brochures. Oh, thanks, Louise. Let me get you a drink. Mm, thanks. A uh, glass of white wine, please. Large. Thanks for doing that. It's OK. It's my last night tomorrow. I hope you've got something special planned. Funny you should say that. Is it a surprise? Well, not exactly. We've been invited up to Home Farm. Dinner party. Not me. I wanted to spend it on our own. It'll be fun. Besides, I can't get out of it. Great. I might as well be working at the Woolpack. But we don't have to stay all night. You'll enjoy it, I promise. Nicola, you're here. What's the matter? It's Emily. I've been looking everywhere. She's not at work, she's not at home. I'm getting really worried now. All right, come on, let's go see if we can find her. How's anyone supposed to make something in their lives if you can't get someone to look after your kid while you work? I oh, know. The government say they want women to go back to work, but they're not doing much to help, are they? Yeah, but you're still signing on, aren't you? Only because I have to. If he had a decent wage and a nursery for him, then I could contribute, couldn't I? I mean, Charity's doing all right, but look what she's had to do to earn her keep. Stand on street corners, you mean? No, marry Chris Tate. <laughs> Don't bear thinking about, does it? <laughs> I can help out, you know. You've hardly got any more money than me. No, I don't mean like that. I mean looking after Kirk. Oh, what about your job? I could take a few hours off here and there. I couldn't ask you to do that. I want to. I like spending time with him. You'd you be doing me a favour. Oh, Jason. <laughs> Are you getting on with the christening? Yep. Everything's all set for Wednesday. Oh, great. Have you got the godparents sorted yet? Yeah, I have, thanks. Oh. Jason, if you so much as think you're not going to be godfather to Kirk, then you're completely mad. You're better than a father to him. Do you want a drink? No, thank you. What's up? 
My dad came round. He's been putting pressure on me not to move away with Mum. You can see his point, though, can't you? Well, yeah, but he shouldn't put me in that position. Him and Mum are the ones that have messed up and we have to suffer for it. Well, I suppose he's lost your mum. He doesn't want to lose you as well. Yeah, but I shouldn't be made to choose between them. You can't really think about moving away, though, can you? Not with everything that's going on. It's the best reason I could ever have. It's not just your dad that needs you here, Ollie. I don't think I can go on facing this by myself. Do you know something? I think you're wonderful. Mm. I think you are too. Oh, I think you better stop now. <laughs> Do you? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Paddy, I have things to be doing. Oh, come on, Ah, oh, there she is. I said we'd find her. There's only me and you left in the entire world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Emily.